Hi there, it's Jen from ModernMedicineLady.com and the Empathic Woman System, and the word of the day is cleanse. And I choose this word because it is Ash Wednesday, and that means it's the beginning of Lent. And while I was not raised as a practicing Catholic, I grew up with a number of family members who were, as well as growing up in a town with a lot of people who practiced Lent. And so as a little kid, I was grateful I didn't have to because I was like, you know, the thought of giving up candy for that period of time was pretty, like, awful to me. But as I've gotten older, I've really come to appreciate the idea of a time when we reboot our system, when we renew our commitment to the divine, and we also use it as a time to really purify and cleanse our bodies. And I think that there's probably no mistake that Lent falls right at the end of winter because this is that time of year when, you know, we've been cooped up inside for months. We've been eating the foods that are, you know, the staple foods that can store and last. So it's not, you know, and especially by this time of year, it's like people are down to the bottom of their pantry or their root cellar and the options are a little bit limited. And I know by this time of year, I've gotten a little lax. Like my, my diet is not as clean as it is in the middle of summer because I just don't have access to the kinds of fresh fruits and vegetables like locally grown from the farmer's market that I do when we're talking about July in Maine. And so this time of year, I find is a really, really great time to renew my commitment to my self-care and use Lent as a time for personal cleansing as well as for focusing on increasing my prayer, increasing my meditation, and trying to get some more activity and some more movement so that I'm, you know, I'm feeling more in my body and not just wrapped up in a blanket watching Netflix. So I'd love to invite you to join me using the energy and the momentum of Lent, even if you are not a practicing Catholic, because there are so many people on the planet right now who are using this energy to renew and purify. So there's a lot of momentum to do this. And there's no rule, there's no way that you necessarily need to do this. Each one of us is at a different starting point and at a different place. And so what may be something that I've been, you know, that one person has been doing for years may be where you start. Whereas, you know, for another one of us, that what they, somebody decides to do may seem completely unfathomable. Um, so it's not about what exactly you do as much as it's about finding some kind of manageable, doable shift that you can make for yourself with your self-care, with probably with your diet, perhaps with your practice of meditation, prayer, connection, moving your body, whatever it is that you feel called to do, how can you use this energy of Lent to purify and cleanse yourself and work with that. Now I'll just say that my intention and my plan is to really work with getting back to the real basics and just really eating whole food, nothing out of a box or a bag or a can. And if there are, you know, like much less like things with multiple ingredients and you know, reading labels that have a whole bunch of stuff in it that it's like, I don't even recognize. I'm just going to keep it very simple. So like the most complicated thing that I'll probably be eating in the next, like, next like couple weeks is going to be salad dressing where it has a couple ingredients. But for the most part, it's going to be vegetables, protein, and fat, and maybe a little bit of, a little bit of fruit here and there. And, and that's pretty much it. You know, I will probably still have coffee in the morning because, you know, hey, coffee is the food of the gods. But I am basically walking away from or, you know, putting down sugar 
for, well, actually not sugar, but chocolate, because white sugar is something that I've avoided for a really long time. And as a sensitive, I will tell you, sugar really affects us. I think it affects many of us very strongly. And not only does it affect our physical health, but it can really affect our mental and emotional health as well, and make us way more sensitive to picking up information. So I just want to say that, you know, if you are eating sugar, and you're noticing that your moods are volatile, then I invite you to consider putting down white sugar and just letting that go as your act of cleansing for this period. And if you're already um, on board for that, then what's the next step? What's the thing that you realize your body is asking you to get a break from for a little while. What do you need? And how can you use this energy of Lent to cleanse and purify and renew your body? So like I said, I'm planning on keeping it real simple, doing basically a whole food diet where it's pretty much like protein and vegetable and fat and that's and lots and lots and lots of water and just really taking time to enjoy being in my body, walking outdoors, taking Bob for walks, and just like remembering that spring is nearly here. So I'd love to hear what you are planning on doing if you want to join me. So I invite you to join me for this cleansing period and you know, like leave a comment below. Tell me that you're in. Tell me what it is that you're going to commit to doing. And uh, until tomorrow, until next word of the day, I'm wishing you peace and ease and inspiration to really jump on board and use the momentum of Lent to do your own cleanse. So until next time, if you haven't already done it, please go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jennifer Moore, Modern Medicine Lady. And I would be so grateful for you to pass this message along to other people who would find this useful. So thank you so much for helping me get the word out. And until later, peace.